Yes. <laughs> Listen, at the time right. it, it happens, any man... Yeah, of course. ...is, you, is her. Yeah, yeah. Right. The chick you fucking are in love with is with this nigga. Country grandma. You want to you wanna hear how I found out? That's how you found out. <laughs> Country only grandma. On, only on Drink Chat. We saw on the documentary, too. Yeah, so yeah. Too. How did you find out, sir? I was at home. Uh-huh. There wasn't no Twitter or Instagram back then. I was at home. Okay. Listen to this shit. This is God wanted me to find out. Right. Was at home. NBA package. I like watching sports. Oh, my God. What's this commotion going on in the stadium? Mm. We just found out what the commotion is. Nelly has walked in with the shanty. <laughs> Irv got on the drink champ spending all the business. Damn, that's crazy. He was on there talking about how he was so in love with Ashanti. Imagine you, he was married throughout that whole time when him and Ashanti was messing around. So he was madly in love with her. They found out her and Nelly was dating when him chilling at home and finding out by watching the basketball game and got the nerve to say, God wanted me to see this. Um, I think you want to leave God out of it because you was already committing adultery. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... He was already married. I'm not sure how long his first marriage lasted. I'm not sure, but I know at the at the time he telling that story in the drink champs, he was married while he was sleeping around with Ashanti. Like that whole murder ink situation was crazy because how the hell you the like you the CEO and you smashing the artists and all that stuff. But that's normal in the game, unfortunately. But at the end, it always end badly. Just like it ended bad with all of them going broken. Ashanti doing her own thing. It's crazy though. But one thing that Irv got to do though, he always exposes his business. He always talking about this and that. Because me growing up, the only thing I knew about Irv Gotti was he was with Murder Inc. and 50 Cent killed Ja Rule and all of them shut the whole company down. That's the only thing I knew about Irv Gotti. But like as I got older and looking at his interviews, bro, he just be he be saying the corniest shit, bro. Like the corniest shit. But at the same time, he was working with Jay-Z, Biggie, Ja Rule, DMX. So he got a good-ass resume in the music game. But outside of the music game, bro, he a cornball, bro. He do cornball shit. Like, why is you on there getting all drunk and high exposing stuff between you and Santi, knowing that y'all not even on speaking terms? You just telling her all the business. She been moved on from the shit. She probably got a whole new relationship. Crazy, man. What y'all think about this, boy, B? Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Mouse.